In this learning module, we're going to start to implement some of the interfaces and stubs that we have in our service layer and in our DAO layer. We're going to do this using behavior-driven design and test-driven design. So we're going to start with the requirements, and you might remember this requirements document that we wrote several videos ago, where we stated requirements in the format of, as a user, I want blank so that I can blank. So we elaborate that with a series of given when then statements. Those given when then statements are very easy to make uh, unit tests out of in behavior driven design style. So from our design document, we are going to take this first requirement and this first set of given when thens. So given is user is logged in, user searches for Eastern Red, but it returns, uh, it's able to save an object. We're going to implement that one with behavior driven design and also something called a mock object using a library called Mockito that works well with Spring Boot. So we'll start, we're, we're, actually that's the second one we're going to do. The first behavior driven design test we're going to do or behavior driven development we're going to do is the second test, which is the user's logged into my plant diary, the user searches for junk and gets nothing in return. So we're going to use these to write a test and then we're going to start with that test and we're going to start to work on our interfaces and some of our stubs back here. And when our test passes, it means we've done a good job. So with test-driven design, we write the test before we write the code, and then we write the code to make the test pass. There are many good reasons to do this. One principal reason is it gives us a lot of good connection between our requirements and the software that we produce so that we know when we're done. We know when we've met those requirements because the test came from the requirements. And when the test turns green, it means the test is passing, and that means we've met the requirements that generated the test. Another reason is consider the alternative approach of testing, which was fairly common under Waterfall, which is we do analysis, we do design, implementation, and then test, and then we roll out. Well, whether we like it or not, this rollout date oftentimes is fixed. And the other thing, whether we like it or not, we're really not good at estimating in our field. We traditionally run way over our estimates. And so analysis, design, and implement, if those fall behind, there's only one thing left to cut, and that is testing. And we can't sacrifice quality, not today, not with community ratings and things like that, where people will say, I didn't like the software because blank. So analysis, design, test, if we move the test first, then we know that the test is going to get done, and we know the software that we write is going to match that test. Since this is the start of a new learning module, let's take a look at our Scrum board and make sure that it is up to date. Uh, last week, what did we do? Uh, configure the POM, start the Spring Boot controller, uh, create the GitHub repo, several things we did. Uh, we created a service stub, we'll go ahead and move that to done. Uh, create a stub of the DAO interface, actually that we're going to work on today, so I'm going to leave that there. Create the service interface, uh, we started that, but we're going to continue to work on that this week. Uh, create the service implementation, we've already started that, so uh, what I'm doing by the way, I'm moving these to the in progress column which you let me move myself. There we go. There's the in progress column. Uh, and I will move myself a bit more. There we go. So, um, so create service implementation that we are in progress. Looks like I have that one duplicated. So let me go ahead and clear that up. We're going to create the DAO interface. So we're going to start on that this week. Create behavior driven design tests for uh, the given when thens. Yep, we're going to start on that this week. Um, for the service layer and also not for the DAO layer yet. Create the DAO interface, we're gonna start that. So you see quite several of these tasks that we've defined and our sprint tasks, quite a few of them we're gonna take a look at this week under the umbrella of behavior-driven design and test-driven design. Uh, handle inputs through the spring controller. Um, we're not gonna work on that one this week, I was just thinking we did a little bit of that last week. We really should only have one thing in progress per person at any given time. So in your own group, I encourage you to only move one over. I'm moving this over in bulk just because these are the things I'm going to work on in a series of videos. And it's easiest for me to do this now because I know we're going to get through them uh, than to touch it in each individual video. And frankly, I would probably forget to do it in each individual video anyway. Um, Everything else looks pretty good. So let's see. So create DAO interface, create behavior-driven design, uh, create DAO interface implementation. Actually, that one's a, 
That one's an error. We're not going to start on that yet. We're going to mock that one out. Create service implementation, create a stub of the DAO interface, and create service interface. That all looks good.